Good morning, everybody. I sincerely hope that this video finds you all well, uh, safe and sound at home. I also really hope that you are enjoying and really embracing our new way of learning at the moment at home with your loved ones. Um, big thank you to Miss Turnbull who has asked me to share her YouTube channel for the day by introducing you to one of my favourite children's books. This particular book I am hugely fond of and I have shared many times in school. So if you are in my class at the moment or if you were in my class last year, you will absolutely know this story. This particular book is called Here We Are and it's a story about finding your way in the world, about fitting in and about embracing everything that makes you truly individual. Now, the author of this book originally wrote it as a um, how-to guide to being a human. He had uh, a baby boy and he wanted to educate his son on how to navigate, how to get through every day and how to thrive on planet Earth. So I thought I'd share with you a few pages from the book today. So to start off with, the author introduces us to this picture of the solar system, this fantastic illustration. Now, I know if you are in year five or year two, you have been learning all about space. So you will already be experts on our solar system. So here we are. This is how the author describes planet Earth to our reader. The fact that the planet is basically made up of two parts, and these are land and sea. Now, as you can see from this wonderful illustration, the author is showing the reader all of these wonderful things that live in the sea. I wonder if any of you drew any of these animals as part of the daily doodle challenge yesterday that was focused around being under the sea. This page is brilliant at illustrating just how unique we all are. It says that people come in many shapes, sizes and colours and that we may all look different, act different and sound different but don't be fooled, we are all people. I hope you enjoyed my brief introduction into my favourite children's book, Here We Are. Now what I'd like you to do based around this book is a bit of learning of your own. The first thing I would love for you to do is to draw or paint or construct using Lego or anything you like. You might want to use the computer instead. A picture of yourself. Uh, make it as detailed as possible and then around the outside of yourself I would love it if you could label yourself with all of the qualities that make you truly unique. Use some fantastic describing words. So you might be really creative. You might be really sporty. I'm sure that you are all really kind and caring. So that's the very first thing I want you to do. If you are in key stage one, I would love it if you would then turn some of these words into sentences that describe you as a person. Now, if you're in key stage two, I would still love you to draw a picture of yourself, but then could you describe yourself in a short paragraph to someone who has never met you before? If someone was meeting you for the first time, how would you describe yourself to them? Uh, at the Albert High School, we understand that learning at the moment is a little bit different and things are not quite normal for us all at the moment. However, we are all still on hand trying to provide you with extra special things to do at home and to keep in contact with as many of you as possible through Twitter and Miss Turnbull's YouTube channel. Now, the author of this book finishes his story with um, a few sentences which absolutely still ring true for us at the moment. Uh, the last few sentences of this book read, If you need anything else, just ask and I won't be far. But if I'm not around at the moment, you can always ask somebody else. You are surrounded by adults in your household that can help you with your learning. 
just as well as we can. So please make full use of them and share as much of your learning journey with them as possible. I hope to see you all really soon. I can't wait to see what work, what learning you get done at home. Please uh, post as much of it on, on Twitter as you possibly can. Take care and I'll see you all really soon.